Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, we will be continuing on where we always go, which is to doing some of the daily challenges. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the daily challenges include today we have to cook one seasoned exotic bird, which I believe I actually have some in my inventory, at least one, I believe. Uh, we have to pick five desert sage. Okay, nice. Uh, two free roam events played. Five non-player enemy stealth kills. Five, uh, three players with a killed with a shotgun in showdown. And then three prairie chicken skinned. And last but not least, we have to pluck, pluck three vultures. Hmm. All right. Well, it looks like we're definitely going to be going down to like the tumbleweed area at some point in time. Let's see. What do we want to do first? All right. Cooked seasoned exotic bird i'm gonna see if i have any on my or in my satchel real quick i think i actually do have some somewhere i do have exotic bird meat all right so pelicans are one of the best ones to get and let's see we need to go a little bit well we need to go this way actually we need to head north of sand -Denis. i'm going to show you guys a good spot in order to get some pelicans and it is becoming a little bit later in the day. It seems like every time I load into Red Dead, it's always like early to late afternoon, it seems like. But that's fine. We're going to make do with it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go north of San Denis. We're actually going to go about to this location up here. And we're going to go ahead and find ourselves some pelican. Now, I am at the location where the pelicans do like to spawn, but there is some other online players just right over there, so it's kind of affecting the spawn. But you typically, right in this location, right here, there's either like a white or brown pelican, which is really good, obviously, for the exotic meat. There's also another good location that's over down by the Brightwaite Manor, which would be... I think it would be like right, uh, right in this general area along this coast is a good one. Or you can actually go south of Brightwaite Manor, which right in this general area, there's actually a lot of birds that do spawn down there. And there typically is some pelicans down in that area as well. So again, up just north of San Denis, where I'm currently located, right here, or down over there by Brightwaite Manor. Great locations to get exotic bird if you guys need some, which I do have one. So we're going to go ahead and cook that up real quick. And uh, unfortunately, the players right next to me are affecting the spawn with them shooting and them being so close to the area in general. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my way down to the campfire in San Denis. And then we're going to go ahead and cook up this exotic bird. All right, there is some intense fighting by the police over there, the lawmen, with an online player. So we're going to go ahead and cook this real quick here. Let's go ahead and rest by this fire or craft by this fire. And then we're going to grab our exotic bird meat. And we're going to make it minty. That sounds great. Minty bird meat. Ugh, that sounds absolutely terrible to me. But there we go. We're going to cook just this one. It's all we have to do. Just find one pelican and you're going to be good to go. Let's go ahead and stow that real quick. Perfect. We don't, we're don't. we not going to cook anymore because we don't have any more to cook. There we go. I'm definitely going to have to replenish that. Um, and if you guys are kind of wondering, I do kind of always keep stuff on me at all times like uh we got um game meat which is gonna be like rabbits i also keep like plump bird meat i keep that on me pretty much at all times just in case one of these daily challenges do require it that way i don't always have to go and find those items and i definitely recommend that you guys do the same thing have like five of each because it's typically you know one to three is all that you guys have to cook for the exotic or any of the, the meats. All right, let's go ahead and check our list one more time and see what else we have to do that we might be able to do in this area. Obviously, free roam events, probably not going to worry about that right now. Uh, five non-player enemy stealth kills. All right, well, that could be a little bit tricky. Um, hmm. I'm guessing that's what the online player was doing from the lawman. Non-player enemies there. Uh, let's see. Let's do player kills with a shotgun and showdown. So just go ahead and play a cup. Like if you guys can get name your weapon in a showdown series with with a shotgun, that'd be great. That's going to be easy to get. Prairie chickens. That's going to be down by Black Water. Is a really good area. And then vultures plucked. All right. Well, we just basically have to do some uh, roaming in order to get some of these other things. So. We're going to go ahead and head down to Blackwater, I think, next, and then we'll kind of continue on from there. 
Alright guys, so since it's actually night, I decided to actually head down to Tumbleweed and we're going to go ahead and pick some Desert Sage. And I know of a really good location that's actually pretty close by and that is a cliff. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that, that worked, I guess. <laughs> So the location that we're going to be going on the map. Oh my gosh, that's been a long... Actually, I'm right next to it. I need to go basically right here. Wow, that's that actually worked out pretty good for me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull up our... And I probably just ran right past some. Look at this. Desert Sage. I spawned in the perfect location for Desert Sage. So we're going to go ahead and pick some of this. I can't believe that. That was hilarious. I don't know if I've gotten thrown off of my horse and fallen off a cliff like that in an extremely long time. That was absolutely hilarious. It made me laugh, obviously. All right, <laughs> All right so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab some more. There's some right here, and then there's actually going to be some more up here a little bit too. So we're going to go ahead and pick some of these. We got mushrooms, and then the sage should be... Where is the sage? We got, we got thyme. We got the mushrooms. Oh, there it is. I know there was, I knew there was some more right in this location. So there's the five right here. And then if you guys actually need to, ooh, there's a gang hideout. Nice. I kind of want to do that. Kind of want to do it. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do the gang hideout real quick, but there is another location just a little bit south of here. It's right about there or so for the desert sage. So obviously right here, right there, and then down this way a little bit. And then you guys are going to have be perfect on your Desert Sage. But I'm going to go ahead and complete this uh, this gang hideout here real quick. And then we're going to go after some vultures and also some prairie chickens once it becomes a little bit lighter out. Which, let's see, what time of day is it right now? It is... This bounty stuff needs to go away. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to go ahead and get that started here in just a little bit. But I am going to go after this gang hideout right now. All right, guys, so I've come up to Rothstellar Fort. I'm actually going to show you guys on the map exactly where I'm at. There's actually a couple different static locations of vultures in this area. And if they don't show up right away, just right away, come right back, and one of them should show up. But there's actually five different locations here, and I got one of them to spawn right there. So I'm actually going to get this thing to fly because I obviously can't get up on top of that building. So we're just going to give it a little bit of a shot there. It obviously wasn't too bothered by it. And maybe... Oh no, let's go! Alright, it's kind of circling around, and there we go, we got it. Beautiful, now it's just on the other side of the wall. And there's actually another one right there. That's a hawk, but we have another one that was just, where did it go? There's, it's right there on top of that post right there. So we're going to go ahead and give that one a little bit of a shot there too. So there's actually a couple that sit on here. And then there's actually the one that will sit right on the corner of that one, on the corner of that one, and then on the other side of the entrance. So hopefully there's like over in that area. Actually, it's, oh, it's an American crow right now. I was like, oh my gosh, there's actually three of them that just respawned for me. But those are kind of the locations for each of them. Again, right, right there at the top of that entrance, at the corner there. Kind of where there's birds are there, uh, right there. And then there'll also be a couple different locations that they'll spawn over on that. So I'm going to grab these two because that's two of them that are just that are plucked for us, which is great that we can get. And then I'm just going to ride a ways away and I'm going to show you guys that you guys can actually just kind of rinse and repeat this pretty easy. All right, so let's move on over to the other one and let's go ahead and grab this vulture as well. And then that one, we can actually run on over to um, Blackwater and go ahead and get our prairie chickens. And then we should be mostly done for today with the daily challenges. I mean, obviously with the with some of the other ones, I did, with the gang hideout, I did get one stealth enemy kill um, from it as well. Ooh, what is that? What do we got right there? Is that a turkey vulture as well? No, that's just a raven. All right, I was like, oof, if that's a if that's a turkey vulture, that would be awesome. All right, guys, so I decided to kind of give up on the turkey or the vultures in general because I was having a really difficult time getting them to spawn in. I was getting, like, everything else. I was getting hawks. I was getting 
like eagles. I was getting condors. But for whatever reason, another vulture did not want to spawn for whatever reason. So I decided to give up and come over to see if I quickly before the end of this video get a couple of the prairie chickens. And obviously right now I'm not really having any significant luck. Oh, hang on. There, this, this might actually... That's from Ravens. I think this actually might be some prairie chickens right here. There we go. Right off the bat, we're right outside of Blackwater. This thing works fantastic in this area. I always seem to find some. Now I have to just finish up my uh, vultures. I, I mean, I got lots of other birds I, I killed. I don't even know how many hawks and condors and other things down at Rathskeller Fort. It was absolutely insane. But I just wanted to finish up this one for you guys real quick. Just outside of Blackwater. Just roam around. It literally just takes seconds. You guys, I literally just got here, started up the clip again. And was able to find the prairie chickens almost right away within just a few minutes. All right. So that does conclude everything for today's video. If you guys did like it and enjoy it and made a little extra money while doing so and gold, why not, right? That's what it's all about. Making some extra cash here in Red Dead Online and some gold for the summer update that's going to be coming up hopefully very, very soon. I will be dropping another video on that in the very near future. But anyway, we're going to get the last Daily challenge completed right now for you guys. And you're going to see that we're going to get our 0.4 gold, our 200 experience points, and whatnot. There we go. We should be able to get that. Beautiful. All right. So, obviously, I will continue working on my vault, my turkey vault, or my vulture in general. And then we just got to get a couple more of these other ones, which are more PvP-based. But if you guys did enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.